For my second path in the Winter of Woe Gauntlet on the left side, I decided to take Chavez, Kate, and Gladiator. And we're gonna start with this Aegon fight, which is a weird fight. There's a lot of things that you have to like remember to do. Um, but I narrowed it down a little bit to where I can bypass some things, like I made it to where in this fight I don't have to worry about the root too much, but I still have to worry about knocking him down a lot, which for Chavez is pretty easy because you don't really have to block to knock them down when you charge your heavy attack and stuff, and you can just throw a special attack even. But um, as far as the root goes, I either tried to bypass it by just throwing my relic, or I could just try to bypass it by timing it to where the root would trigger when I'm about to throw a special 2 or something. Or I could even prevent it just by throwing a special attack while I'm rooted, um, especially if it's an unblockable one. Like if I lined up my negative zone with my special 2, then I could just throw it freely. That's another way I used it. I took a little damage because I, for some reason, couldn't dex out of his SP1, but that's okay. We throw our SP3 here because my Mystic Dispersion pushed me really high as um, for bars of power and stuff, so I'm going to throw my Heavy Attack, get rid of the passive that's going to make me take damage. Got a nice Intercept there, which gives me the Bulwark, and uh, I don't even know what the other one was, but um, basically you get those, which is supposed to help you to where you can actually block him and then get rid of the charges that are going to root you, but again, I just kind of decided I'm not even going to worry about trying to block and get rid of that stuff. I'm just going to throw my special attacks to break out of it, which for Chavez is very easy just because um, you have so many special attacks all the time, and even the relic, you can just line it up to where you have that to go with you. So uh, here I'm going to knock him down with my heavy attack, and I'm going to throw my SP2 because it's unblockable. And yeah, this Aegon's just going down really fast, and that's mainly because Chavez has like a billion extra attack because of how many buffs he has, so it's pretty great. And also Myst Mystic Dispersion is just kind of ridiculous for this fight. Um, that wasn't unblockable, I didn't realize that if you use your unblockable once and then you didn't activate another dimension, you're not going to trigger the unblockable again. Luckily I didn't get punished for it, but... Um, at the same time, we're just kind of trying to chug it along and get him down. He's only at 15%, so I'm like, okay, another SP2 is going to bring him like really close to killing, and then if it doesn't, I can just kind of combo right after with my Relic, and I'm pretty sure my Relic finishes him off. So, Chavez destroys that Aegon. It took me a couple tries to get used to it and realize, just don't even worry about playing around the roof, just have specials lined up and things like that, so... Alright, now I have Gladiator versus Dandy Moonstar, and this is a really fun fight, and if your Gladiator is awakened, it makes it a lot easier, because then you have the Vigilance at the start of the fight. Um, since I didn't, I kind of had to work around intercepting to make her combo stop going up, or I had to work around just trying to line up the Vigilance at the start at least. And knocking her down makes it to where I, she loses an illusion, and then... At that point, I'm just kind of waiting for it to come back and then stop using heavy attacks. But once you go unblockable, it's pretty easy because, you know, you can just hit him, hit her and then gain confidence that way. But also, once I reach my max confidence and I start throwing SP1s, then I don't even have to worry about any of that. And that's what's going to happen next. We're going to throw the SP2, we get a Vigilance, which is nice, but once we get the Unstoppable from the SP1, I just kind of cheese her like that. She's going to get stuck in a loop to where... I'm just going to do a bunch of backdraft intercepts or light intercepts while she's in the corner and throw my SP1 to give me an unblockable, with, or unstoppable I mean, to make my intercepts both safe and I can do a bunch of damage during her special attacks. So watch this, she throws a special attack, I do 3 hits which is like 40,000, uh, it's like 45,000 in red, 50,000 I think. And then we're going to throw the SP1 and just kind of keep repeating the cycle where we gain unstoppable to where we're safe. Um, I messed up there, but she didn't punish me, and even if she did, I was unstoppable, so that's cool. Um, I need her to throw a special attack. She keeps triggering the falter because she's not throwing it, but that's okay. We're going to dex out of it, and then, yeah, at this point, I'm just like, okay, she's kind of stuck in a loop where I'm kind of fine. I can also throw a heavy attack for an unblockable if I didn't feel like light intercepting and stuff, but I felt fine light intercepting, so throw a heavy attack, we're unblockable, we throw the unblockable special one, we get some decent burst damage, but more importantly we have the unstoppable to just do a bunch of damage while she is actively waiting to shoot her bullets, so that's really nice. Throw a heavy attack, unblockable again, throw the SP1, burst damage, cold snaps, unstoppable, all the fun things. 
So we throw three hits, and then we do burst damage like that. And there's really not much else to say. She Again, she's just stuck in the rhythm once we are fully ramped and things. So throw an SP1, unstoppable. And let's see how much damage the three hits actually do. So she goes from 41, I only do two hits there, she went down to 38. So that's really nice, especially when, you know, you're not really working for it, when you just kind of bait her special attack and then just do a bunch of damage to her while she's just actively throwing the special attack so i went for four hits there and because i'm unstoppable i'm kind of just safe to where i blocked that hit um but i dexed out of the rest because the unstoppable so the unstoppable just makes this fight so easy to where even if you get clipped by the sp2 which definitely can happen it doesn't matter because you're unstoppable so at this point uh she's pretty close to dead now and it's not like gladiator is going insanely fast but at the same time it's just effectively working and I really don't have to worry about anything because I'm unstoppable all the time, so. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to kill her with the burst damage on the next special she throws, which is really cool. Throw the SP1, gain unstoppable, and then she's going to die as soon as she throws it. And yeah, with a medium, and then she dies. It's really funny seeing them die by the damage back like that, so. Yeah, that's Gladiator. He did a really good job for that fight. And next up, I'm going to be using Kate for this Hulkling. If you saw my video of me doing it on the right path, you might have seen me like mess up this fight a lot. Well, here I finally got the hang of it, and I kill him in like a minute and a half, so. That's really fun, that's really interesting. Um, let's see, we're just kind of trying to build to SP2 as fast as we can. Ideally, we don't let him throw SP1s, but it's not like a big deal if he does. I kind of want to bait SP2s just because those I can actually counter with my heavy attack, and I want to knock him down before I throw the SP2, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I got the crush, which is annoying, and that kind of... I, I threw my special attack while he was indestructible, but at the same time, we still did a lot of damage, even though I didn't line up the unstoppable completely perfectly, so... Yeah, at this point, um, I'm kind of just... I have my two cold snaps, but I can get a third one because I have Chavez synergy. We knock him down, get rid of the uh, protection, and he's taking, like, 3k damage uh, per second just because of the cold snaps so that's cool we get our third cold snap and then yeah he's just taking so much damage at this point that there's not much he can do um especially if i throw my special attacks into his block and avoid the indestructible which i didn't really do perfectly the first two times but for sure on my next sp2 i lined it up really nicely with the indestructible i mean so um here he's gonna throw the indestructible and then uh, at this point he throws an sp1 which is annoying but it's okay uh, what am I doing here? I think I'm trying to try to bait a heavy attack, and does he do it? No, it doesn't matter though, because we just knock him down right here. And now I want him to block, I think I'm going to whiff a light attack, which makes him block, and then now I can throw the SP2. Just look at that, dude, it's 77k per tick, which is so stupid, bro. That's such a really fun fight. Um, that's like one of my favorite design fights in the game, so it's a really good time. So next up we have pig and last up i should say and i'm gonna actually die of this fight i just messed it up um so i'm gonna use one revive on this pig but that's okay i mean i have a bunch of revives anyway might as well use them so um here he had the three so i wanted to wait till it turns into a one for me to throw my special and then once it did we get the cold snap so now we can't evade and now i'm just baiting his special attack he's not really throwing it and now i'm gonna push him to sp2 just because i'm getting impatient and i hit his block which is a big no-no you're not supposed to do that so i lost a lot of health there but we block the sp2 and we're still doing fine it's annoying damage but it's okay um i'm just waiting for the three to turn into a one and then i'm gonna go for my second cold snap and yeah it just does it right there so i trigger the sp1 get another cold snap active he throws his special one and then we're gonna counter it and I think I'm gonna throw another SP1 right there just before the thing expired and I'm just gonna get hit because I, I think, I don't know if I was trying to dash away or if I was trying to uh, parry but it didn't go well. So I'm gonna try to clean up with Gladiator and then I'm gonna die pretty fast because I, uh, I eat an unblockable special too and I don't even remember how he goes unblockable in this fight. I probably should have read the nodes a bit better but yeah, it's not going to go great, but we do get a little bit of ramp, and then I realize, oh wait, he's actually going to evade if I do that, so let's not do that. And then I hit his block, and then I purify something, and then it's not good. Um, 
At the same time, Gladiator can work for this fight. I've seen solos done before. Uh, just, just don't do that. Um, eat an unblockable special too. And then you should be able to do it. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I've seen, I know like Nagasi uploaded a video of Gladiator soloing this fight, I think. So I know it can work. I just probably should have read the nodes a bit better. And uh, it wouldn't have been that bad. So, all right, we're just going to revive Kate, go back in with Cold Snap Arrow. And pretty easy time from there. Um, not much else to say. It's just gonna go like the first run on my other video. Uh, we just get some cold snaps up, and then he's just kind of dead. Waiting out the stun just a little bit to waste some time while I'm trying to wait for that timer to get to an SP1. So, we throw that, and then now we can't evade. It's a grid time, and, uh, just kind of the SP1s, get him in the corner, and then he's kind of stuck there. So yeah, Kate just kind of cheeses this fight. She kind of cheeses, um, Hulkling too. She probably is good for Aegon, I honestly don't know, but um, I, I, I'm imagining she's pretty good for it. And she probably could do uh, Danny. I don't see why she sh couldn't. Um, as long as you don't let your things fall off, you should be okay. So uh, Maybe she can take Nebula. Again, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but uh, yeah, Kate's just kind of good, you know? So, makes a bit of sense. Anyway, that's going to be my left side of the path, and then I got the last objective I had for Paragon. Once I make Valiant after 8.4, I'll have to do the other objectives then. But um, until then, that is going to be all I'm going to do for this content, unless I find just a fun team to take it with. So, Anyway, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the videos, and I will see you in the next one. So, bye!